Harry, let's talk about the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. What, what's the what's what's going on here? On one hand, you've got the Supreme Court saying we're not necessarily going to take up Jack Smith's uh, petition, but we're going to consider it. We're going to hear from the Trump team. Meanwhile, the D.C. Court of Appeals uh, is is still continuing uh, with its with its uh, activities. Not just continuing, but going in overdrive. So Jack Smith says, um, you know, you still have it. Uh, and so uh, please do a very quick briefing schedule. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So as it all looks like it's starting to fall apart for Jack Smith, Judge Tanya Chutkin, the D.C. judge, she's probably issued the most correct ruling of her entire career. And she has completely stopped, halted, paused any of the D.C. court proceedings against Donald Trump while the Supreme Court is involved in doing their part. And this Really, this is the doing of Jack Smith himself. He has done this to his own case. When Donald Trump appealed the judge's decision, so she made a decision that he did not have presidential immunity, right? And then he appealed it because he should. Well, Jack Smith made the move that is basically a go big or go home type of move. He optioned to actually skip the appeals court because if the appeals court sides with the judge, which he assumed that they would, the Supreme Court would be next, which the way Smith sees it, is just a delay. It would delay the trial long enough that Trump will be able to pardon himself when he wins back the presidency. Because Jack Smith, Jack Smith believes that that's going to happen, and he probably believes he's the only man that can stop it. You know, he's intelligent enough to recognize that Joe Biden cannot win a second term. And like any devoted purveyor of election interference, which Jack Smith is, Jack Smith wants to do everything that he possibly can to make sure that Donald Trump is in that courtroom and convicted before the 2024 election. Well, this is probably backfiring on good old Jack Smith because the judge is doing the legal thing. Just reporting from Capitol Hill right now. Hi, David. Yeah, hi, Martha. This is a big deal because Judge Tanya Chutkin, the judge assigned to this case that expected to see this entire trial through with Donald Trump uh, right now, has essentially said, I don't have jurisdiction anymore because this case likely is going to become uh, or come before the U.S. Supreme Court. The Supreme Court uh, has much more authority than a federal district judge in Washington, D.C. So with an order, uh, Judge Chutkin just announced that she's putting this on hold right now. That means she's not going to accept uh, new evidence or new writings or anything else on the public docket. Everything freezes in this case. And Martha, it's significant because it could push back the March 4th trial date. That's one day before Super Tuesday when when you look at the court calendar versus the campaign calendar, Donald Trump's team wants this to be pushed back until after the election. Special counsel Jack Smith's team actually went directly to the Supreme Court earlier this week and asked them to decide whether or not Donald Trump should be protected by presidential immunity. So while this is going to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court is giving Trump's team until next Wednesday uh, to give some sort of response, Judge Chutkin has now said, listen, the Supreme Court is in charge. I'm going to hold off here. But Ultimately, if the Supreme Court does not rule uh, in the former president's favor, it may come right back to Judge Chutkin and we start the process all over again. But this is definitely a delay, Martha. OK, interesting, David. Thank you very much. Aren't we lucky that we have Fox News Sunday anchor and chief legal correspondent Shannon Bream right here to respond to this? Oh, it's good to have you it in New York. Great to Thank see you, you for person. coming. Um, what does this mean? Break it down for us. You know, I think of the movie scene, A Beautiful Mind, where he's got, you know, you see at the end, there are strings leading everywhere and there are papers. I mean, really yeah. just trying to keep uh, abreast of all of these legal developments involving the former president. Yeah, so I have to say, you know, that was a very, very intelligent, legally sound move by the judge. You know, I I guess it, the, the way I think of her, I think it probably would have actually pained her to do that. So that actually gives me, you know, some hope regarding her and, and her judicial fairness. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Did Jack Smith, did that team see that coming? And do you think that they now regret involving the Supreme Court? Guys, if you haven't already, please help us to continue to grow. Like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.